On this day set aside to remember and honor the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., one might wonder how he might respond to the events of this past of the uh, past few weeks. CBS 4's Jim Defeaty, the host of Facing South Florida, put that question to South Florida Congresswoman Frederica Wilson. What do you think Martin Luther King would make of the events of the of the last week? Because you hear some on on the president's side, on the Republican side, say this is a time for healing, a time for looking forward. Uh, are those? Do you think those are the sentiments that that Reverend King, Dr. King, would share, or do you think that that he believes accountability is also would also be in order here? I, I believe Dr. King will say, even though we don't, we wash our hands in the same sinks. We don't ride in the back of the bus anymore. We go to the front door of restaurants, but all is not well. We still have miles to go. And I want you to know that. I want you to continue to fight for your rights. I want you to pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Act because that's where the power is. That's how we got Senator Warnock, because we have to break down some of these barriers that have Jim Crow laws that have been put in place over the years. And I think Dr. King will challenge us to fight through Congress and fight to make new laws and break down some of the bad laws that uh, President Trump has been in place. He has reversed so many good things that President Obama put in place, all kinds of issues with student loans and uh, different health care issues. So we're going to, Dr. King would be saying, fight, Frederica, fight and reverse all of those tactics. You cannot give up and you cannot let this man get away with it. He would be on our side. You can watch Jim's interview with Congresswoman Wilson in its entirety. Just go to cbsmima.com slash facing South Florida.